Yeah, we're back in part two of DS9 Harbinger, and this is one of my least favourite parts of the game, the arcade modes. You better get used to these. Um, more on them later. Captain, near reactor four. I have them, Major. Damage on deck five. They've moved out of my sector. I can't get a visual. Dax, the plasma. Compensating for visual interference. Captain, the drones are regrouping. Hull breach on level three. Confinement shields up. We're taking hits. Activating counter and force fields. Bannock, targets moving into your sector. Under the habitat ring, bearing 111 Mark 4. Shield at 30%. Only a few left. Good work, Envoy. That's it. Stand down from battle. What a mess. One moment, Envoy. Captain, we have a ruptured bulkhead on deck five. Outer or inner bulkhead? Outer. Structural damage, too. I'll take this one, Major. Certainly, Captain. Rooting engineering control to you now. Tell me, Envoy, your impressions of our enemy. Those drones never had a chance. True. Actually, the station sustained very little damage. But enough to know those drones mean business, Lieutenant. What is their business? What do they want? I think the Scythians hold the answer to that question. Everything about the drones, power hierarchies, hull structure, warp arrays, clearly parallels the Scythian design. I don't envy you your assignment, Envoy. First contacts are always difficult, but Ambassador Kerrig is the best the Federation's got. I'm sure we'll come to an understanding. Oh, that's what I'm afraid of, that the Scythians come to understand us all too well. Major, the drones attacked us. Whether or not the Scythians will is entirely up to the Ambassador and the Envoy. They were boring in from every side. No evasive tactics, no pattern attacks, no enfilade. No self-preservation instinct. Just attack, and to hell with surviving it. They seem determined to destroy themselves, all right. But I thought their attack was... confused. Did their actions seem confused to you, Envoy? Yes, the plasma storm must have muddled their sensors. They track targets visually, I'm sure of that. And plasma impedes visual targeting. But I saw drones out in the open that did not shoot. Major, do you mean they deliberately held their fire? When we were fighting the Cardassians, sometimes we would attack an outpost just to test its defenses, to plan our real attack. I'll research it, analyze the patterns of attack. I think we may be onto something. Good. In the meantime, the turbo lifts, I'm not showing damage, but they're down all over the station. Could you? Right away. Excuse me, Envoy. Talk about being thrown in the deep end. Envoy, we seem to be out of danger for the moment. Is the station badly damaged? Apparently no. No casualties. Some circuits out. Overloaded. A few hull breaches, nothing serious. We had containment fields up already because of the storm. It's a tough old Cardassian fortress, Envoy. We're out of danger, but we're still in trouble. We're cut off completely from help on Bajor, or reinforcements from Starfleet. 
and were severely shorthanded. You can't even contact the planet of Bajor? No. The plasma storm makes the five-hour crossing a foolish risk, and subspace communications are out of the question. Plasma disruptions like this one have been known to rip ships and stations in two, even tough old Cardassian ones. Shorthanded? Why, Captain? The station's been evacuated, Envoy, because of the storm. Were you able to evacuate the station completely? Before the storm rose, I mean. Yes, or almost. Transports took about 500 people to Bajor for safety. Almost all the station personnel. But one transport didn't make it out. Isn't that right, Major? An old Subite freighter. First they were hung up on a docking clamp, then stabilizer problems. They were lucky to make it back to the station. The passengers are now in a designated safe zone. Level 7, Section 5. Otherwise known as Cork's Bar. A Ferengi establishment. Yes. Less than two dozen people on board and still insist on staying open. There's probably a rule of acquisition that addresses even this situation. The riskier the road, the greater the profit. Number 62. When will the plasma storm end? Do you know? Good question. Lieutenant, report please on the plasma storm. Present intensity, estimated duration. Intensity up 20% overall. Duration anywhere from another 12 to 46 hours. Tell me what's happened here, Captain. From the beginning, please. Certainly, Envoy. A lot has happened since you and Ambassador Carrick passed through Deep Space Nine on your way to the Gamma Quadrant. We received several field reports from Ambassador Carrick. One of them concerned the Scythians. Could I see that report? It's classified, Envoy. Only Ambassador Carrick has the authority to let you view it, which I have no doubt he will do. Those are the Gamma Quadrant aliens? Lieutenant Dax showed me their ship arriving at the station. Yes, and you witnessed my conversation with their leader. According to his reports, Carrick had much better success in speaking with the Scythians. Go on. So when the Scythians appeared at the station, I contacted the Ambassador, who was already on his way to Deep Space Nine. From the Gamma Quadrant, I assume? Yes, I can't tell you more than that. And the first drones followed the Scythian ship? Yes just as you saw it in the station log. Go on. Meanwhile, Dax detected the plasma storm rising, unusually quickly. We scrambled to evacuate the station and seal it against the storm. And more drones arrived through the wormhole? They appeared as regular as clockwork. Why didn't the Scythians evacuate with everyone else? I don't know. We told them of the danger and they understood us, I think. But when they learned Bajor was inhabited, they simply refused to leave. Go on. Carrick got here just before the storm hit. He retired almost immediately to his quarters. Said you were to join him as soon as you arrived. Did he say why he summoned me in particular? No, he did not. Go on. The rest of the story you know. You were ambushed by drones on the far side of the wormhole. Shortly after that, they attacked the station in unison. Now, I think it's time for you to rouse the ambassador. His quarters are in the habitat ring. Dax. See if you can restore power to the turbo lift. After all he's done for us, I'd rather not force Envoy Panic to use the stairs. I'm trying. Envoy, I can get you as far as the promenade. You'll have to walk from there. Thank you, Envoy. That's all. Computer. Take me to the promenade. Due to emergency security precautions, promenade access has been restricted. Areas currently available to access are Section 5, Level 7 and 8. Please specify desired destination. Promenade, Level 7, Section 5. Okay, just to expand a little on the arcade bits, I um, don't like them for a couple of reasons. One, they feel forced in in the game. And uh, second, the hit detection, as you can probably see, was rubbish. It's not just me being completely and utterly crap at them, which I am, to tell you the truth. Jenny, I'm deducting that from your pay. Well, we'll find out what that was all about next time. And uh, I will see you in part three.